I am back today going over my 2024 EDC. There's a few different things that have changed throughout the year, things I've added and things I've taken away, and we're going to be discussing all of those and how my EDC changes from day to day, but this is a general overview of what I've been carrying. Is it going to work for you? I'm not quite sure. Everybody's different, but this is what I'm doing in 2024, so let's dig right in, starting with the firearm, moving to the knives, then with different tools as well as lights that I've been carrying this year for a ton of different situations. And the first part I want to discuss is the firearm firearm that I choose. Now, for a full-size 9mm, there are two go-tos for me, and I'll explain why. The first is the SIG P365 XL. It's got a larger capacity than a lot of other Micro 9s, and this one itself comes with the 12 or 15 round mag, depending on if you get extended or not. Now, on top of this, I'm actually running the Sealy Cat Pro, and it's been doing great, but a lot of times I actually don't run mine with optics. I have a few of these because not only are they my concealed carry, but they're also a test platform for the RMSC Red Dot on the channel. So I have thousands of rounds through the 365 XL and it works out perfectly. This is going to be where I kind of devolve a little bit out of the EDC and talk about some other things very quickly. The 365 in general is not quite, in my mind, a reliable enough for me to carry. I know there was a lot of striker drag issues and issues with the gun itself when it first released, but the moment of inertia was increased because of the slide mass on the 365 XL, which completely resolved the striker drag issues, and SIG may have addressed it in multiple generations of the 365, but I personally feel way more comfortable with the 365 XL. Now let's get into my next carry. The next one I want to discuss is the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. This, in my mind, was a game changer when it was released. The mags themselves are very slim, but again, you're getting 10 to 12 rounds, depending on what you're going to carry with an extended mag or the standard flush fitting mag. But this one is ultra compact, super slim, and it shoots like a full-size pistol. The trigger is incredibly nice and it is very reliable and one of my favorite kind of stack and a half nine millimeters so these are the two nine millimeters i'm going with now the 365 xl may be my choice um overall but the shield plus is just right up there with it and it's kind of hard to choose on a daily basis which i'm carrying and a lot of times it depends if i'm going to be using the optic or not and kind of what i'm testing in the field so that's kind of my personal two firearms that i select for kind of mid-size or compact nines I really don't carry anything bigger than this on a daily basis. Occasionally, I'll step it up with a slightly larger gun for certain situations, but honestly, this is what I'm carrying. And a lot of times in certain situations, this may be a little bit much for what I'm going to do. I like to carry the LCP Max, which is the Ruger in 380, which is a 10 plus one round 380. Or even if I'm going slimmer and lighter weight for hiking and different activities like that, I like to carry the kel P32, but I've got an entire video on concealed carry handguns, so you can check that out and subscribe to the channel if you want to do so. I'm also going to be leaving links to my favorite inside the waistband budget Kydex holsters in the description below on Amazon, starting at around $20, and I'm only going to be leaving some of the ones that I personally recommend, have tested, and trusted. And again, you can take a look at the channel for those full reviews, but let's move on to the knife, and this is actually my own lineup of knives. When I launched 704 Gear, the website, I wanted to provide you guys with some of the best knives possible at the cheapest prices possible, kind of fitting the channel motto perfectly. And I've released a kind of base lineup of three knives plus a fourth, which is more Bloodwood and Damascus Steel, which is not relevant for today's EDC video because I don't personally EDC that one. I EDC these, and I've been testing through the rotations, but the one I go back to time and time again is the Midnight Scout Lite. This features a G10 handle, a brass bushing design. This one is fresh out of the box. Um, this one also features D2 steel and a tip-down carry design. Now, when I was releasing this lineup of knives, I was sent a ton of different prototypes from the factory we were working with, and I selected specific design cues for a wide variety of people in mind. 
And one of the design cues I wanted was a tip-down carry knife, which was very compact yet incredibly robust. This one's got the flipper in the back. And this flipper itself is more of kind of like a push flipper. You'll push that and it rockets right open on that brass bushing design. Now, again, you can flip it open, but it's really designed to be more of kind of a push flipper. Again, D2 steel and G10 handles. This one's pop tires in the video. And a lot of these are actually on sale on Amazon right now for the Amazon launch. So these generally sell for right around $27-ish for the Midnight Scout light as well as the Urban Ranger light. But after the discounts, the 15% off discounts on the link in the description below, you can grab each of these for $22.94 with free prime shipping. Now this is the Urban Ranger light. Now this one is a tip up carry which i like for different advantages so when you are pulling it out of your pocket it's ready to flip open and use but this one has a reversible pocket clip for both left and right handed uh, people so this is great for me because i am uh, left-handed in certain situations i do shoot right-handed and bat right-handed and eat right-handed but i also write left-handed so this is pretty cool again g10 handles d2 steel a bushing design this one's incredibly smooth and a little bit smoother to open than the Midnight Scout Light, but they're two different style knives. Now, this is the full size Urban Ranger, and this thing is a beast. It's not too big to carry every day, but I find myself carrying the smaller knives in most situations. But when I'm going to the land or to check on things, and sometimes I just want a larger knife, this thing works out beautifully. Again, a bushing design, so it's super smooth, rock solid lockup. I've actually batoned firewood with this. I've been using it in a wide variety of situations, cutting seatbelts, doing all kinds of testing. And again, you can check out the full review. But these generally are going to be selling for close to about $33, give or take. Um, again, depending on kind of what we're doing. But right now with the Amazon launch, these things are right at a little over $28, making it, in my opinion, one of the absolute best folding knives you can get for $30. Again, reversible left and right-handed pocket carry for those knives. Now, this Amazon launch price won't last forever. I mean, we've got to go back to normal prices, but I wanted to give a big push on Amazon and save you guys some money. Also, if you were some of the first to purchase on 704gear.com, we did founder series stickers and there's still a few left so if you want some founder series stickers you can actually order from our website 704 gear um, but we're doing the 15 percent over on amazon or the founder series stickers over on our website but again that info will be in the description below the next thing i want to discuss is the edc light of my choice which is from through night there's a few versions that I really like to carry. One is the Archer Mini, and this really ends up in my pocket most days because it is the smallest and easy to use. It's got a double reversible pocket clip that clips onto the bill of your hat. You can utilize it as a headlamp. It's USB-C rechargeable, as you can see right here, which is incredibly convenient. And it's got a two lumen mode, a low mode just for kind of standard applications and double click for a blinding 405 lumen output of this micro light. Now, I was actually carrying a lot of the Olight Baton 3s, and I still love those lights, but I wear a mechanical or manual wind watch, and the magnets in the back of that can affect the watch depending on what you're doing. I've actually switched to through night on days when I'm wearing a mechanical watch just to keep that watch a little bit safer. Now, a lot of those have those anti-magnetic properties, but it is something to consider. For one slightly something larger from through night, the Sabre is a really cool light because not only does it have a rechargeable battery inside it right there, right there, you actually charge the battery itself. You can swap it out with a double A light if you don't have time to charge it in the field. So if I'm going camping or hiking, I'll bring an extra double A battery and put it in the pack as well as charges when I get back to camp. But the battery life is incredible on this. And a lot of these lights generally sell from about uh, 20 to $30, depending on the sales going on and occasionally if you're subscribed to the channel you can find them even cheaper than that this run right here is the archer pro and this thing is absolutely awesome as well probably one of the largest edc lights i carry but it is still very micro small and i kind of go through different fads depending on what day i'm carrying a lot of times it's going to be that midnight scout light with that 
Archer Mini. You can see it just fits in your pocket perfectly. In the other pocket, I might have that LCP Max or kel P32, and that's kind of my base. That's where I start off. Then a lot of times when I want something a little bit larger, capable of a little bit more tasks or even personal defense, I'll switch to that Urban Ranger light and carry something like that arc, the, the Saber right there. So that's a good pairing. And then again, you can kind of go a little bit bigger as you go up, depending on your situations. And one of the last things I want to discuss are tools. And I've already mentioned watches. I've been carrying a lot of mechanical watches. Now, this video is not about watches. If you want more of that kind of style, you can head over to my 704 Gear YouTube channel, where I go over some of my favorite watches. But Erebus, uh, Erebus Origin, they're a release of that mechanical watch. And Phoebus watches are my basic budget, everyday carry mechanical wine watches. So definitely check it out. And if you're wondering what this guy is right here, it's the Rescue Me tool. And I actually don't carry this on my person but I always have one in my car. I just did a full review on this tool over on my second channel, 704 Gear, so you'll definitely want to check it out. It's a pretty popular tool that I think every driver should have, not necessarily on their person, but in their keychain. You can actually tether this inside your car or attach it to your keychain, pop it off, and you actually have a window breaker that works incredibly well. Again, I've tested it over on the Gear channel if you want to check it out, and a seatbelt cutter that cuts through your seatbelt with ease. Now, again, I've already talked about how these knives easily cut through a seatbelt, and we've tested them uh, down on some junk cars, but it is also very convenient to have something like this in your vehicle that goes above and beyond and breaks those windows in case you ever get submerged in water. But more importantly, if you ever get in an accident and your door, door handle's pinned or jammed, you need to pop a window to get out. It can be incredibly frustrating and terrifying to try to get out of a vehicle, but popping it with this is incredibly simple, easy to use. Again, the full demonstration is over on the other channel. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gives you an overview of my EDC. And again, it's always changing, but the staple really has been lately these two full-size nines, that, that kel P32, the LCP Max, the line of my knives, because I'm continuing to test these to prove them out in a wide variety of harsh situations as well as this lineup of uh, lights. This is actually one of the original Midnight Scout prototypes that was sent out to the channel. It's stabbed through a ton of different tires, cut seat belts, has been in my pocket every day now for about three or four months at some point during the day to continue testing. And man, it just continues to hold up and work. Again, all of the information and sales and linking will be in the description below. Again, these knife prices won't last long. So if you want to jump on those, now would be a great time to try them out. And I would also really appreciate if you guys left reviews. Um, and in honest reviews, let me know what you think. Leave some Amazon reviews so other people know what to think. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.